Some time ago I created three different courses about building a real application from scratch to production in three different frameworks in React, Angular and Vue, and it was a clone of Medium website with a lot of production features. And in this video I want to share with you how long did it take to implement the project in every framework and what problems did I have. The application that I implemented is not a to-do list or a small block, it's a fully functional real application with authentication, pagination, working with API, fetching data, liking and disliking articles, following users and much much more. In every application we just built the frontend part and skipped backend completely, because we were using public API with already prepared requests. Also, I need to mention that I have quite a lot of experience in all these three frameworks, which means I didn't spend any time to google some use cases or how to implement things. And if you are interested in any of these courses, I will link them down in the description box below. The most interesting question is of course what framework was the fastest to implement the project, and I typically spend one or two hours in the evening, so it was not the full day. And also I didn't cut any corners and didn't implement things fast, so everything is built in the scalable, dry and easy to understand way. And on the first place is obviously Angular, but of course from the end, because it took me almost two months to implement the project while sitting there every single evening. And this is happening of course because Angular is quite verbose and we also need to define everything with the help of TypeScript. I also used Insight and GRX which is the most popular solution for state management inside Angular, but it is also quite verbose. On the second place is React with React hooks, and actually the development time was really fast and I implemented it in nearly two weeks. But the main problems while developing were nasty bugs with React hooks, because as you know React hooks are not easy and you can get some stale values inside your effects and this is really tricky to fix. In React hooks project the code was short and easy to reuse, we also didn't have a lot of files, and also I didn't need any additional libraries like for example Redux, because I was using directly React context and use reducer hook to manage the state of the whole application. And actually the unexpected winner here is Vue, I implemented their project in less than a week, and mostly the code was really similar to React, but I didn't get any nasty bugs there and it was easier to write. Also we are getting Vuex together with Vue out of the box, so it was also nice experience. And actually what really makes code faster and easier to read are computed properties inside Vue. These are additional property inside Vue, which are calculated reactively based on other properties. So when some properties are changed inside our component, all our computed properties will also be changed. And it makes your code extremely easy and reactive. Also I can say that Vue has really human readable errors, this is why even when I have a bug there, it was really easier to fix in comparison to React or especially Angular. The next important thing to compare is the amount of bugs. Obviously while developing and later from the students I got some bugs in applications. And actually in Angular almost all bugs which were difficult to fix were inside Angular router. Because actually subscriptions inside Angular Router didn't work how I expected them to work when the component was remounted. Other than that, TypeScript made it really easy to find bugs and typos. In React, almost all bugs are coming from React hooks, and you have normally two problems, either you are getting some stale values inside your state, or your component is being re-rendered too often, and then you need to sit there and understand why it is re-rendered too often and how you can prevent it. And the bugs in view were the easiest to fix, and human readable messages helped a lot for debugging. And here is one important point, I still think that we can't build a big production applications without TypeScript, and actually we can use TypeScript with any of these frameworks, but actually here is a huge difference, inside Angular we are getting TypeScript out of the box by default, which means all third party libraries people are writing directly with TypeScript. 
but actually it's not like this inside React of you because it's not the part of the ecosystem. Sure, you can use TypeScript with any of these frameworks, but first of all with Vue 2 it was a little bit tricky, with Vue 3 it is better, but all third-party libraries can still be written with either JavaScript or TypeScript, and obviously when they are written with JavaScript they are less stable. This is why for big production applications I like React or Angular, because first of all in Angular you are getting all libraries covered with TypeScript, and in React at least all popular libraries are built already with TypeScript. So what should you use? As always it depends. If you want to find the job the most popular framework is obviously React, then goes Angular and only then goes Vue. If you want to get more money, normally Angular is paid better than React, because it is first of all less popular, there are less developers there, and the level of entrance is much higher. And if you never used any frontend framework, I highly recommend to start with Vue, because from my perspective it is the easiest. But obviously all these three frameworks are awesome, they have kind of the same set of features, performance and architecture, which means you can build with any of these frameworks any project. Also, if you want to know 5 most popular JavaScript interview questions, don't forget to check this video also.